creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. The house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family. Neat. Sweet. Petite. So get a witch's shawl on, a broomstick you can crawl on. We're gonna pay a call on the Adams family. <laughs> Higher and uh, to the right thing. <laughs> yes. That's it. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, thing. The mail's in. <laughs> Thank you, thing. <laughs> oh, Lurch, it's for you. Aren't you going to open it and see what's in it? I already know. It's your annual invitation to the butler's ball. Which you never accept. Lurch, wouldn't you like to go to that ball just once? Uh. <laughs> Why doesn't he want to go to that ball? He's becoming progressively shyer. Did it ever occur to you that he might not be normal? Nonsense, my dear. He's just as normal as you and I. <laughs> but he should go to that ball. It would be very good for him. He needs to get out more, make more friends. Perhaps you're right, but I can handle the situation. I'm sure you can, darling. You're so masterful. Tish, when you pat my cheek that way, it drives me wild. <laughs> oh, there's darling. Control yourself. Never. <laughs> Darling, you're forgetting about Lurch. <laughs> you rang. Ah, yes, Lurch. I, uh, I think we have a problem. The problem is you, Lurch. Me. Mrs. Adams and I have had a serious talk about you, Lurch, and we've decided that this year you should attend the butler's ball. Uh... <laughs> Lurch, there's something behind this. What is it? You can tell us. I'm a wallflower. <laughs> what? I can't dance. What's so simple? You can learn in no time. Come and trip it as you go on the light, fantastic tone. Shakespeare. Milton. Oh, Joe, you're right. Lurch, you can learn to dance. The Watusi. The Holly Golly. The pick and shovel. Oh, no. You must develop some outside interests. You can become stagnant. Really? Look at Mr. Adams. He's always developing outside interests. Right now, I have the most enviable collection of coroner's reports in the neighborhood. <laughs> We're speaking to you this way because you're more than an employee to us. You're like one of the family. <laughs> and as head of the family, I've decided that you're going to the butler's ball. It's for your own good, Lurch. We want to make you happy. Look, it's so simple. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll get you a teacher. That's a marvelous idea, dear. Why don't you call the dance studio and have them send over an instructress right away? A girl? Well, of course. Father was right. About what, Lurch? My being a butler. What did he want you to be? A jockey. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Marshall, we'll send an instructress right over. Yes, I'll make sure she's young. Dorothy. Go over to Mrs. Marshall's. Her grandfather wants to learn to mash potato. Please, Mr. Walters, give me another chance. Sally, I'm sorry. You're too fresh to the customer. But, Mr. Walters... Fred Walters Dance Studio. I'm sorry. We got nobody available. I'm available. <laughs> uh, Mr. Adams, 
we suddenly have somebody available. All uh, right. Girlie, anything you earn on this job is all yours. <laughs> here, good luck. Dance instructor should be here any minute now. Morticia, who moved this urn? I don't know, darling. Mama, I suppose. I didn't notice. Really, my dear, you should keep an eye on these things. You know how close Uncle Droop liked being to Aunt Drip. Ah, must be the instructress. Lurch? Yes, sir. Dance instructress is here, Lurch. Oh. Now, <laughs> oh, come, Lurch. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a question of rhythm, Lurch. <laughs> we'll leave you alone and let you have complete privacy. There's no need to be self-conscious. Excellent idea. Oh, and Lurch, do try to be a little friendly. Let her see that charming leer of yours. Keeping time to the music. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> rhythm, Lurch. Rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. She fainted, sir. <laughs> That's strange. Why would she do that? <laughs> Here, put her on the sofa. Take your toad out of here. Things like this upset him. <laughs> She's obviously not a well person. Quick, someone get a glass of water. <laughs> Thank you, Thing. <laughs> well, there she goes again. What's all the commotion, Gomez? Fred Walters sent us a fainter. <laughs> well, maybe we better get her some smelling salts. <laughs> Thank you, Thing. <laughs> I'll have to make a complaint. Oh, no, don't do that. I always faint when I meet new people. Oh, you poor dear. You must be painfully shy. Oh, no, I'm really very friendly. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not me, him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Buster. Fading was contagious. <laughs> Practicing your sword swallowing, darling? No, I just felt a little congestion in my throat. That cleared it up fine. <laughs> Dear, I can't find Lurch. Oh, he did seem depressed by all that butler's ball talk. You don't suppose he did anything drastic, do you? <laughs> oh, of course not. Otherwise, your little vulture would be circling the area. <laughs> I'm going to have the children look for him. Little Pugsley has the nose of a bloodhound. As a matter of fact, it's his best feature. <laughs> Lurch! Lurch! Where are you, Lurch? Playroom? It isn't nice 
just a tattle thing, but thank you anyways. <laughs> Consolidated fuzz just hit 212. I sold it for six. Saved all that tax. Brilliant. <laughs> Darling, I want you to know that Wednesday's taught Lurch how to dance. Capital. She wants us to come and see right now. Of course. I knew Lurch would pick it up quickly. He's such a nimble one. <laughs> <laughs> Consolidated Fuzz is back to six. Oh? I bought in again at 212. <laughs> what an unusual system you have, dear. <laughs> Darling, I want to talk to you about Lurch. Ballet doesn't seem to be his cup of tea. <laughs> no, I think he needs something more modern. So I've decided to teach him. Wonderful. I can just see his face. <laughs> Mrs. Adams. You don't know what you're missing, Lurch. Mrs. Adams won the Twist Award at the Funeral Director's Ball. <laughs> they awarded her the Silver Urn. Darling, you'll have me blush. <laughs> On with the dance! <laughs> Now you're getting it. What's the matter? I 
think he slipped a cog. <laughs> Poor dear. I believe he overdid it. He must have thrown his back out. Excellent diagnosis, child. Don't worry, Lurch. You're in the finest hands since Dr. Schweitzer. Oh, it's true, Lurch. Mr. Adams' treatment for Grandmama's back had the whole medical world agog. Agog? Aghast. <laughs> so hard, dear. He's tall enough already. Sorry, my love. I don't know my own strength. He's turning a beautiful shade of red. Mm, it's more magenta. Very popular color this year. Well, we'd better give it another go. <laughs> well, one more. Darling, you've done it again. He's as good as new. Another triumph for medical science. Someday the Nobel Prize. Couldn't accept it. Why not? Run off to Sweden and leave the children? Of course you're right. <laughs> more. More. Oh, no, Lurch. This could become habit for me. Now, on your feet and on with the dancing lesson. Oh. <laughs> Darling. I think Lurch is a bit shy with you. Oh? Well, should we call for another instructress? Waste of smelling salts. Lurch not only needs a great teacher, but also a great psychologist, a brilliant tactician, a rigid taskmaster. You? I never could fool you. <laughs> You're not dancing with Mr. Adams. It's not me, Lurch. It's a beautiful senorita. <laughs> Fiery, alluring, smoldering. And you, Lurch, are the proud prince of the pompous. <laughs> Will you draw the senorita closer. What's wrong, Lurch? You didn't shave. Senoritas never do. <laughs> By Jove, I think he's got it. <laughs> what was that? Uh, quick! The rat helped your back. Oh, it did, it did. I'm just resting up a bit. <laughs> Wonderful idea. Here. Oh. Lurch is getting into his new costume. Little Wednesday picked it out. I know. I'm afraid his heart's still not in it, though. Darling, do you think we're doing the right thing, making him go? We must not indulge fear. I remember my cousin Blob, deathly afraid of ghosts. Ghosts? Now he's one himself. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. I hear him on dark, stormy nights. But darling, those strange sounds from the attic aren't Cousin Blob. No? They're Grandma Squint. You can tell from her superb cackle. Ah, yes. Yeah. Like music to my ears. <laughs> Lurch, you look magnificent. That costume. It's you. Must I? Lurch, it's for your own good. <laughs> Darling, what do you think? Fascinating, my dear, but what is it? It's my costume for the butler's ball. But you mustn't breathe a word of it to Lurch. I want to make sure that he's not too alone. That's very thoughtful, Carita. But don't worry, the girls will flutter about him like moths around a flame. <laughs>
gentlemen, for the annual Fred Waters Dance Contest. By special request, we're going to have a tango. wonderful thing you did, Tish. Oh, darling, I didn't do anything. Besides, I'm just glad to be out of that horrible costume and back into my beautiful dress. <laughs> you didn't do so badly yourself. How did you get them to change it to a tango contest? Huh. I promised them a large contribution to their pet charity. How nice of them to have charities for pets. <laughs> well, it's been a tiring day. I think I'll go down and relax a bit on the nail bed. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, you think of everything. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. You seem quite happy. I am, darling. My thorns came in so nice and pointy this year. Oh, they talk about green thumbs. You've got a red thumb. <laughs> Hello? It's the fainter. The dance instructress? Hello? Yes. Well, that's wonderful, Miss O'Rourke. Fine. Goodbye. She says her boss found out about Lurch winning the contest, and he's given her a long-term contract. Well, that's wonderful. Darling, you know, she did encourage Lurch. I think we ought to buy her a nice gift. Yes, but what? I've got it. A great big bottle of smelling salts. <laughs> she can use it. Thank you. 